And now to the Biden presidency. Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, is joining us. And Margaret, nice to see you. You have a big guest this weekend. Really looking forward to the show. You sat down with Dr. Deborah Burks, and we haven't heard from her in a while. What did she? What did you talk about? Well, Dr. Deborah Burks has left her job as COVID task force coordinator under President Trump. She remains at the CDC at the moment. She's a career public servant, but she has become intertwined with President Trump himself in this response to the pandemic. She's very candid in sharing what she saw inside the White House, how deeply frustrating and troubled she was by not just how the White House itself responded, but by problems she sees in this country's health infrastructure. Uh, that really need to be addressed. But she says she was censored. She was prevented from speaking to the public for long stretches of time because of the upcoming election. Really look forward to hearing, uh, listening to that interview. Today, President Biden rolled out an economic plan dealing with the economic recovery from the pandemic. Uh, can you tell us what's in the plan? Well, this is a plan, and he really needs Congress, which has the power of the purse string, to back it up. Uh, but that request is for $2 trillion. In the meantime, he is doing things like signing executive orders. Today, he signed a flurry of them, including one that would boost the amount of money going to food stamps, uh, the SNAP program, as it's called, because we are seeing such high numbers of people who are food insecure in the midst of this crisis. But it will fundamentally come back to being able to help states roll out a vaccine and get ahead of this pandemic. And he's asking for millions of dollars to help states do that. Uh, as we know, uh, distribution has been a problem in many states. Margaret, what about the impeachment trial of former President Trump? Will it, in fact, take place in the Senate? We know there are plans for a trial because Speaker Pelosi said today she would transfer the article from the House to the Senate on Monday. And that, when it happens, triggers a process that could, under current rules, force a trial to begin as soon as Tuesday, but it's unlikely to happen that quickly. In fact, Republicans are asking for it to be delayed until mid-February. Behind the scenes, they're negotiating. One of the things that may be persuasive to Democrats in terms of a delay is the argument uh, that President Biden wants them to pass legislation, like that $2 trillion of aid we just talked about. And they can't do both things at the same time unless they change the rules. So that's why there are negotiations happening, and we'll continue to bring you the latest on them. Okay, Margaret Brennan, thank you very much for joining us. And join Margaret for Face the Nation. Her guests this week, as she mentioned, include former Trump coronavirus task force member Dr. Deborah Burks. That is Sunday morning at 1030.